Once upon a time, there was a race between a tortoise and a rabbit. Who would win? Hmm. Oh well, tortoise had its strengths, a long life, so he could take things slowly. Some said he was just being cautious, but some thought he was too conservative. His opponent, the little rabbit, also had his strengths. He was smart and quick. Performance-wise, he was able to jump to the top quickly, but he also fell fast. However, in this real world, these small potatoes weren't allowed to roam freely. In order to survive in this world, you have to puff like a dragon and be the winner. In order to win in this world, you must join the dragon team. Welcome to the real world. What do you think? Do you like the voiceover? I think this is so perfect. It rightly points out the strengths of the dragon team. That's great. Perfect. Great idea. Good. Benny. It's good. I think so too. This video is very important to us, dragon team. It means a lot. Next month, during the company's annual dinner, the team with the best performance will be commended. After we're awarded, when the lights are dimmed, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure it would be fascinating. Oh That's yeah, a good idea. idea. Cool. A fantastic idea. Mm. But how do you know we would surely win? They may not just look at business performances, and the Golden Bull team seems... From the face of it, our team brings in the highest business volume in the whole year. Well, but even if we win, I think always having to puff like a dragon and be the winner is a little too much. Really? Well, why don't you rewrite it then? Let me tell you, we've got to be devoted and motivated. Why is our team winning? What are our strengths? David. Benny? Be the first and be the winner. Exactly! Be the first and be the winner. It doesn't mean using deviant means and poaching clients. What I mean is, we are more professional and better, so our clients choose us. It's that simple. We, as insurance practitioners, business performance is crucial. It is your past, your present, and your future. Right? Mm. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you all, I started from the bottom. I always give my best in everything. That's why I succeeded. You may not want to hear about my life story, but you've got to learn from Benny. He is the most hardworking and diligent member in the team. He has been our top sales three years in a row. Why? Because he always does his very best. If he didn't, he wouldn't be the star of the Dragon Team. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> David, you're new in the team. There is lots you have to learn, just like Benny. Since he joined us, he's on automatic gear, solves his own problems, works his way through. I never need to worry about him. He is just like when I first started. When I was a subordinate myself, I solved all my problems. And I've never bothered my boss. By the way, it's the end of the year. Close your deals. Just making your quota isn't enough. I won't accept that. Know what I mean, Eva? Hey, don't you worry. My cousin uh, Ada isn't that mean. She's just tense. She means no harm. Really, she's okay. <sighs> Whatever she means, it's hard to stand such torture. I joined the Dragon Team over a year ago. Every day I work so hard to meet Ada's quota. All right, no problem. That's my job. But why is she giving me such a hard time? I don't deserve it. Well, that's life. <sighs> this doesn't happen in other teams. Speaking of that, you were in the Golden Bull Team for a while and you resigned. Six months later, you joined the Dragon Team and started working here. Hey, did your cousin Ada persuade you to join her? <sighs> I was in the Golden Bull Team, but I thought it wasn't suitable for me. Why not? I heard your ex-boss Charles is a nice guy. Right. He is a nice guy. He taught me a lot. But I think his team lacks enthusiasm, and Charles is pretty... conservative. Really? He isn't aggressive enough. I agree with Ada saying, in our industry, business performance is crucial, so we've got to look for new clients. But Charles doesn't think so. He wants us to follow up old clients and handle even trivial complaints ourselves. Hey, there's a customer services department. Furthermore, we have to prepare the records properly, arranging them by date. And, you know, if we're always doing paperwork, how can we spare time to see clients? What upsets me the most was that he 
rang my clients directly a few times. That's not a sign of trust. So I thought, the Golden Bull team isn't as motivated as the Dragon team. At that time, Ada was looking for a team member, and that's why I... We are motivated? Maybe on the surface. Really? You really think we are the way we appear? You've been with us for a year. You're quite hardworking. You handle your documents properly, and you keep up with your clients. A client rang me. He praised you. He said you were honest, and that you're professional. Thank you. The praise isn't from me. It's from the client. You haven't met the quota yet. I'm nearly there. That isn't enough. I always say we need a goal in life, and we should strive hard to meet that goal. Yes, we have to take care of old clients, but we've got to get new ones too. You can handle the documents later. I won't mind if you do that. You have to set your priorities mm -hmm. right. Get new clients, meet quota, then follow up, especially those big clients. Priority. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I asked you to follow up a client. Have you sealed the deal? Not yet. What are you waiting for then? Uh, that deal might not come through. What? Mr. Chung, you just need to fill in these two pages. Last time, you told me both your father and grandfather have diabetes. Why don't you put that down as well? Though they both have diabetes, it doesn't mean I have it too. That's not what I meant. It's just our company's policy that the client must provide accurate medical history. In fact, diabetes is covered as well. But if you don't state your medical history clearly, there may be problems when you make a claim in the future. Do I need to tell you when my father or grandfather catch a cold? I have something else to do. I'll do this next time. Mr. Chung? That's how you lost the deal? Mm-hmm. You've got to be flexible and salvage the situation. So I should let him give me bogus information to deceive the company? Of course not. There are millions of ways to handle these situations. Can you teach me just one of the ways? You have to figure it out yourself. Sit down and reflect seriously. Benny is much smarter than you are. Ask him to teach you. Perhaps I have to reflect on my mistakes. Ada hates to spoon feed her subordinates and being supervised. Mm -hmm. She did this because she wanted to give you flexibility and freedom in your work. Mm -hmm. This is much better than being watched and restrained by your boss. Who are you talking about? My old boss, Charles, from the Golden Bull team. You've been with us for almost a year. Time really flies. But I haven't done much yet. Be patient, young man. A good foundation is very important. Is my performance not good enough? We would have closed that deal with that client from the mainland if we'd adopted a flexible approach. Then my performance would have been better. It's not about performance. Though he hadn't obtained his Hong Kong identity card, he told me he'd get it soon. I don't understand. We refused to endorse him due to missing information. We could have completed that policy. And I would have been the top sales last month. That wasn't the reason. He didn't comply with our terms. He didn't complete the needs analysis form. We may get into trouble. Complying with the terms protects us and the client. But he didn't want to provide it. Even if that's so, he has to give a written declaration. This can protect both parties. Following the procedures is very important. If you don't or rush through it, in the end, Perhaps you'll suffer. All right. Let's look forward. There's always new clients. <laughs> well, don't just focus on getting new clients. I've received several complaints, all clients of yours. One of them said that he'd applied for an online account, but hadn't received information or a password after a few months. I know. I've referred him to customer services. The policy number was filled out incorrectly. So customer services put it on hold. I fixed it for you. I'm sorry. I was occupied with new clients earlier. I've been careless. <laughs> You're lucky. That's a good client. In fact, he's very happy with your service. A well-prepared proposal. Detailed analysis. His friend wants one, too. Really? Ring the client. You know, when I was young, I was like you, too. I thought performance was everything, so I tried really hard to get new clients. In the end, it was a mess. I couldn't keep the good clients. All I had were the bad ones. Does it really matter? All clients are the same. Anyway, remember, be careful with people. 
We like good clients, but we have to beware of dishonest ones. Recently, a client wanted a claim for critical illness, heart disease. He's your client. He couldn't get hold of you. Uh, I'll follow up. The policy was signed six months ago, but the client has had heart disease since he was 18. Really? Follow up closely. I will. All right. Well, my comment for you is there's room for improvement. Keep it up. Why the long face? Well, it's been six months. Since I quit, I haven't found a job I like. What about my suggestion? I'm just worried. The fact that we're cousins? That's right. The whole company knows we're cousins. If I rejoin the company and join your team, it's against the rules. I'll be a traitor. I've told you so many times, I want you to join me not because you're my cousin, it's because I think you're good, and you have potential. You're aggressive, you're a risk taker, you're exactly what I want. Like what you said, you've left the company for six months, it's been such a long time. If you're capable, no one will gossip about you. Frankly speaking, if you don't do well, I'll fire you too. David, I've joined the company for two years. It's about time for me to show them what I've got and advance further up. I need people just like you. I'm result orientated. If you'll join the Dragon Team, I'll give you entire freedom. You've got the free hand. Business performance is what I'd look for. If only Charles was like you. I don't understand. The client approached us and he turned him away. A mainland client wanted to buy a million dollar policy. What kind of boss is that? In other words, you wouldn't go far even if you stayed in his team. All right. Welcome. Welcome to the real world. Welcome, David. The Dragon Team is the best. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me. Hi. Hi, Joe. What's up? Uh, yeah. uh, yes, right. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, our company will issue an official copy of the policy. Under normal circumstances, the policy is now effective. Thanks a lot. I should thank you instead. Wow, a 30% discount. Nice. Shh, don't tell anyone I did this, because you're my friend. Anyway, pay the full premium each month. I'll reimburse the 30% discount into your bank account. No problem. The economy has become better. You should have more new clients and better business. Why are you... You won't understand. Though economy has approved, and I have more business, my boss is more demanding too. I can only meet the quota this month with your policy. What happens if you don't? They'll fire you? I don't think she would, but I don't like to be scoffed at by the boss. I've already breached the professional codes by giving you a discount, but I... Don't worry, I understand. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> what a coincidence. Hi there, I just saw a client. Did you... Hey, you don't look too happy. Let's have a drink somewhere. Though you can't get this deal, you may get the next. No, I sealed it. What's the problem then? Oh, I know. You didn't meet the quota. You're making a loss. Like this. Mm -mm. This? Mm -mm. Impossible. 30? What can I do? I couldn't meet the quota for a few months. Forget it. Well, at least I'm keeping my job. I'm just making less money. He's my friend, after all. You're silly. Don't be so mean. You are silly. Who on earth would suffer a loss? To his employer. I don't care if you're helping your friend or if you want to keep your job. You shouldn't suffer a loss. Let me remind you. You can still make it even. Mm, it does seem that way. Of course. This is what Ada means when she says, get it done by all means. Hmm. That's right. They want us to meet the quota and force us to breach professional codes. They are cruel to us first, so we don't have to be sorry. But I think... I think the bread is tasty.
Mr. Lee, huh? I made this specially for you. If there's no problem, just sign here. <laughs> I trust you. Then there's no problem. Hey, Mr. Lee, hmm? why did you write smoker here? Smokers and non-smokers pay different insurance premiums. Oh, I get it. You only smoke when you're with friends, right? Smoking two to three cigarettes a month is called social smoking. Uh, you're not a smoker. Right, Fill right, it in right, again. Right. Of course. <laughs> Discard. But if I say I'm a non-smoker, will I be able to make a claim if I have lung cancer in the future? Don't you worry, all right? If you really need to make a claim like that, we'll sort things out then. But doesn't your boss care about that kind of thing? She doesn't sweat the small stuff. If I don't seal this deal, then I'm in for it. <laughs> Discard. Oh, Benny always puts his clients first, right? Of course. Well, now that's done. Hey, I win! Well, yeah, how about that? Oh, no. oh, not again. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Lai, yeah? we have a new plan that's great for you. No way. I just bought a policy last year. This plan is different from the plan last year. Last year, we were talking about a traditional life insurance policy. Now we're talking about investment-linked insurance policy. The return is better than your old one. Really? But I can't afford two policies. Oh, come on. How long have you had that plan? I told you, one year. So just cancel it. Take a little loss. The profit from the new one will make up for it. That's will right. the dividends from the old policy be transferred to the new one? That's a small detail. We'll handle it. Oh, yeah. You can choose your investment portfolio. If you don't like U.S. funds, how about Greater China or European funds? That sounds good. All right. Send me a proposal. You got it. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, Mr. Hung. Hi, Benny. I was wondering if you could help me. Sure, what's up? I went to Japan for a holiday last month and I hurt my back when skiing. They took me to the hospital and luckily the injury turned out to be minor. They let me out the same day, but wow, mm. medical care over there is expensive. Oh, they're really expensive, huh? <laughs> yes, that's why I want to claim the medical expenses from your company. Oh, you want to make a claim? Oh, right, right, right. But, uh, Mr. Hung, did you say, um, you were discharged the same day? Yes, and I returned to Hong Kong. I bought the medical insurance policy from you last year. It covers my hospital expenses anywhere in the world. Yeah, that's right. It covers inpatient expenses, uh, but it doesn't cover same-day discharge, and you weren't, uh, an inpatient. What's that? When I bought the insurance, you told me it covered all hospital expenses. Uh, that's right. It covers all inpatient expenses. You were not an inpatient, so it doesn't cover you. What? Well, you didn't explain that to me very clearly at all. Uh, no, no, no. Don't say that, Mr. Hung. Uh, please, read the clauses in the policy. It is written very clearly there. Ah, if you're not satisfied, you can read the customer services department and see if they can assist you, okay? I will call the customer services department and also your boss to lodge a complaint. Lodge a complaint with my boss? Your policy's too small for her to care about. Okay, what'd I miss? Yeah, sure, Ada. Hi, Charles. Hi, Ada. So, uh, how did the annual dinner performance go? What performance? Oh, that's right. It doesn't concern you. Oh, man. Golden Bull team, whatever. They are outdated. What do you think? Yesterday's little bull and today's new dragon star? Oh, right. Is a proposal for the new generation group ready? Yeah. Uh, do you want to take a look? That's okay. You can do it. Yeah, but I was hoping for a little advice. Look, I have a million things to do. Fix it yourself. You don't need me to hold your hand like your mom. I know. It's just that right. it's a big client. Right. New generation I... is a big client. They have more than 2,000 employees. If we get their MPF policies, you look good and I look good. Maybe you'll be the star of the dragon team next year. All right, I'll try my best. Never say try. Achieving is the only alternative, by all means. All right, I'll get back to work. By all means, huh? Oh, David, just don't do anything illegal. Ada. Whoa, David. You should learn from Benny. Look at him. He looks gorgeous in his new suit. <laughs> Thank you. Remember, people respect you for what you wear. As insurance agents, we must portray a professional image. We should wear brand names to give our clients confidence. That's how we get the good opportunities. Well, I better go. See you later. Hmm. Glad you're not like him, Benny. David! What's hey. up? Shopping, huh? Mm. Hey, let's get a drink. Okay. <laughs> hey, you're a big spender. <laughs> well, my boss told me to learn from Benny. People respect you for what you wear. Learn from Benny? You're kidding, right? 
No, learning from him can't be too bad. He's the top sales of the team, the star of the dragon. Dragon's right. A troublemaking dragon. He causes trouble everywhere. Why's that? You know Ken from your team as my friend. Benny borrowed policies from Ken to pad his performance results. Borrowed them? Benny's performance is good. But last year, he needed two more policies to overshoot the quota and get extra bonus. Benny asked Ken to lend him two policies. All proceeds go towards Benny's performance records. Why would Ken help him? Well, there's more commission. Benny and Ken can share it out. But isn't that... Isn't that against the rules? So don't talk about it. Does Ada know? Ada only cares about results. She's so focused on business performance and doesn't see your team's problems. Her team's problems? Don't you think your team looks good on the outside, but it's a mess inside? Yeah. Ada is ambitious. She wants us to work hard. She wants us to win. <sighs> but I guess she's not a very good team leader. Huh. You used to say Ada was very motivated. Now she's too ambitious and isn't a good leader. Sometimes what you see from a distance is not what's true. Before, I thought Charles was extremely, um, well, conservative. Hmm. Not only does he care about performance, he also wants things done properly. Everything is done by the rule book. He's not as decisive as Ada, and that's why I resigned. I know. I was in your shoes before. In the past, I thought Charles was long-winded. But I realized he cares for us. He taught me a lot. I learned about the importance of professional ethics. In the industry, we should possess a professional image. That's beneficial to us. Professional image isn't just about brand names. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Things can be funny. Hmm. I thought Charles was long-winded. Now I wish Ada could teach me more hmm. and care for us more. You're right. The Golden Bull team has a strong foundation. It's as sturdy as a bull. It doesn't matter. Are you happy in the Dragon team? I guess so. That's good. Stick to your principles. Follow the rules. You won't get into trouble. Remember, be careful. Think before you leap. You want some food? Oh, sure. Not bad. Your company's plan is attractive. That's good, then. But this is a pretty big contract. It's a big amount. I need to talk to the finance department before I decide. Uh, certainly. I guess this shouldn't be a problem. The amount for the policy is big. I'm sure you'll be able to impress your company. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Commission? How much do you get? Uh, same as always. That's quite a big sum. <sighs> Don't worry. I'm not asking you for kickbacks. But frankly speaking, since we've given you this huge business, you should show some appreciation. Our company is having a staff party. My colleagues asked me to get presents. They want me to get all sorts of prizes for the lucky draw. I'm confused. I have no idea of what to get. Can you help me figure it out? Well, if your company or you are interested, you can sponsor us. As to what to sponsor and how much you'll spend, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I can't give you an answer right now. Perhaps I'll discuss it with my boss. Good. Well, go ahead and talk to your boss. After you've discussed it, send me another proposal then. It's a big contract. You've got to look carefully. Hmm? <sighs> Why didn't Ada answer the phone? ICAC? It's ICAC. Hey, what happened? Oh, Benny and his clients conspired to fake a traffic accident in the mainland. They crashed two cars together, and they bribed a local police and doctor to produce the forged accident and medical reports. They wanted to defraud the company, and they're now arrested. Serves them right. 
What about Ada? Something like that happened in her team. She's the boss. Of course she'll be interviewed, too. Our company is long-standing. Nothing like this has happened before. This is so embarrassing. Ugh, Ada only cares about business performance. She doesn't monitor things like the insurance policies, and it turns out like this. Luckily, last year, I didn't help Benny out by lending him policies to make up for his performance. If not, I'd be in trouble, too. You're lucky. So, why are you looking for Ada? Well, I wanted to tell her I can't close the deal for the new generation group. Mm. All right, I'll get back to work. Mm. You're back. Are you all right? Don't be so down. Yeah. I gave them some information, assisted in their investigation. I was worried, but the boss would think I was involved in it too. I went to see the boss just now. He says, he believes, I won't do such things. But then, he says I'm not a good manager, letting them do things behind my back. I believe you're innocent too, but this is pretty serious. Didn't you sense anything wrong beforehand? Hey, we in the insurance and financial planning businesses are under immense pressure. Superiors keep giving us orders. I've already tried my best to push my staff to close deals. I didn't expect Benny would be such a crook. I always remind them not to do illegal things. Yes, don't do anything illegal. But that doesn't mean that legal things are the right thing to do. This is called professional ethics. Also, at this point of time, everyone's under pressure. Since that's the case, we have to handle it ourselves. I always tell my subordinates, I tell them to try their best. If they can't close the deal, just have to tell the company. Perhaps our product isn't working. If we always exert pressure on them, with excessive pressure, something bad may happen. I thought Benny was like me when I first started. Smart, hardworking, independent, could generate good business revenue. But he... he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Managing people is not easy. I always remind myself to be careful with people. Appearance can be deceiving. It's also a common problem for many managers. Even though they are smart and work hard, very often they neglect the importance of managing staff. Some of them don't care at all. If something bad happens to the subordinates, it may affect our promotion. Or we could even be suspected of being involved ourselves and trying to cover things up. Being a manager is not easy. Experience is the best teacher. Managing your subordinates closely. Pay attention to them. See if we can help them or teach them to solve the problem. Be considerate to good people and weed out the bad ones. As managers, we have to scrutinize and supervise. I know they find me long-winded. Besides meeting the quota, we need proper records. Monetary records are kept properly. I won't give them any chance to break the law. I only have myself to blame. I only cared about business results. I didn't even sense anything wrong. It's all right. The problem has been fixed. As team leaders, we can't only focus on the business results. What we have to do is build our team ethics. If one meets the quota via illegal means, it then defeats the purpose because you'll get arrested in the end. We can't take pride in things we obtained via illegal means. I trust my subordinates. I give them freedom so they can work things out themselves. You know me, I'm direct. I give them the big direction, then everyone just follows. What's your direction? Business performance. To win and beat our team? We both have the same goal. Not really. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm not being sarcastic here. I always believe people will know you're good if you are. Do our job properly, and clients will come. Wow, you're very confident. Of course. When clients trust us, because we're professional, they'll refer good clients to us. That happened before. Honestly, goodwill is crucial to insurance companies and financial institutions. Our professional knowledge, work attitude, and integrity can directly affect our clients' confidence in our company. So we as managers 
have to set a good example and abide by the rules. Most importantly, we need to manage and educate our people, always remind them of professional ethics. Charles, you're right. I was so careless. Competition is good. It's a win-win situation. I've always liked your decisive and energetic style. I have to learn from you on communicating effectively, especially with the young ones. Look, Ada, I know and you know that I'm old-fashioned and long-winded. They don't buy that. <laughs> David is a good guy, but he's still young. He may go off track easily. Keep an eye on him. Hmm? <laughs> Hey, what's up? Regarding the MPF policy for the new generation group, I can't close the deal. Can't close the deal? Why's that? Um. Why don't you show me your proposal? We'll look at it. I'm sorry. I may not meet the quota and disappoint you. <sighs> don't worry, I'm not blaming you. I just want to help you solve the problem. Uh, thank you. Do you have an idea what went wrong? Let's take a look. 